Hi, it is Kitty Blue. Um, this is sort of a part two of my box opening for my little Makashura uh, Dalmore doll that I received from the post office today from Dalmore. And um, I did finally get her wig on that um, I had bought her, and I think it's adorable. The color is perfect. It's, it's exactly the color um, that I wanted for her. Here's a little close up, and she's just perfectly adorable. Really love this wig. Um, this probably will be her, her wig that, um, I'm gonna mainly have for her. But I'm gonna try and see if I can find some other wigs in the same color, uh, maybe in different styles, maybe like an updo, um, like I was talking about in my box opening video, uh, to go with her, her cute little, um, red outfit here. So, uh, basically what I'm gonna do in this, in this video is just kind of play you know, dress up on, with my doll here, um, try on some different clothes and different wigs and stuff that I have, um, and some shoes that I'm hoping that fit that are MSD sized that I already had, um, that, uh, used to be, um, I used to have for my, uh, Abitsu, 50 centimeter Abitsu, and, um, they're a little bit, they're too big for most of my MSD dolls, so I'm hoping that, they're cute little panda shoes, I'm hoping that they will um, work for her. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take off her cute little shift here. Um, she came, she comes wearing a cute little like jumper romper, like a little cotton shift that's really cute. Um, it ties with these tiny little ribbons, so it's kind of falling off anyways. But um, it'll probably just get in the way of trying on stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And put that over there. Uh, so little things, a little bit about her body. Now that I have her off, is that um, her knees and her leg, or her knees, her legs, and uh, her legs and her arms are single jointed. But um, they do have some decent, like you know, I mean, she wouldn't be able to stand with one foot because she's just really top heavy because of her head. But um, yeah, there's some black marks on her. Interesting. Hopefully that's come off. But there's like a little lip on the back here that actually keeps her leg in that position. So that's pretty cool. And even though her arms are single jointed, she is able to um, touch her face. I don't want to like touch it too much because she's got a cute little face up on that I don't want to mess up. Um, as you can tell on here as well, that her torso is a one part torso. There's no joints in there. I um, kind of wish there would have been a joint like across here, like, you know, even up here um, so that it would give her a little bit more uh, posability as far as slouching or, or something like that. But she's really, really adorable. Um, she is about the size. She is the size of the um, Disney toddler princess dolls or they call them the Disney animator dolls. And uh, I was told that the clothing um, if you find clothing that people are making for those type of dolls, um, they will fit the Makashura, Mokashura. Um, I am going to actually start making some of those as well and uh, altering some other pattern, doll patterns that I have and trying to get some uh, cute little outfits to make for her and um, probably eventually sell. So, um, God, I'm not sure what to start with. i got so many things here that... I just don't know what to start with. Um, I've got all I've got all kinds of like cute little tops um, that probably aren't gonna be like really her style. Um, some of these like this, I'm gonna probably have to take her head off. I haven't glanced inside of her head to see how easy it is to take on and off yet. Um, but there are some other like cute little tops that um, are more easy to put on her. And uh, this top is um, that I'm putting on her now is something that I purchased off of Den of Angels um, for an MSD size doll, and um, it's kind of a it's a stretchy fabric, so it could possibly work. If not, you know, big deal. Um, I wasn't actually planning on keeping this shirt because it's not really not really any of my doll styles, and it was just too big on them. But um, it's actually not too cute. Or it's not too cute. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's kind of cute on her. So there's a little shirt like that. 
that I have. Um, it kind of bunches up around the armholes a little bit. But, um, yeah. She needs pants on, though. Or a skirt. I've got different skirts and stuff that I'm going to uh, try and see if they'll actually fit on her. Um, and I have these little pants that I'm going to go ahead and uh, try on her. Pants are going to be, um, pants are going to be fun. Uh, I'll, I'll have to end up making my own pants for her just because of the size that she is. Um, SD, maybe like shorts might fit her. Um, these are, these shorts that are these pants that I'm putting on her right now are, uh, SD, um, size, but they're like, uh, short, like almost capri pants. Um, these actually aren't too bad. The only thing is, is that, you know, because she's got, she's got a butt here, got a little butt there that, um, it's not staying up over her butt because the, uh, SD dolls, slim SD dolls have a little bit of a smaller butt, but I mean, it works. So here's like one cute little outfit that she can, uh, she can run around in if she so choose. She is so adorable. Um, I am going to like, as soon as I get it, um, I, bought, I actually purchased a, uh, one of the Disney, one of the Disney, uh, toddler dolls, Disney princess toddler dolls. I did actually end up purchasing one. And, um, what I'll probably do is do a box or uh, do a video uh, comparing the two next to each other, um, just so people can see. So. I'm not going to go through all these clothes. I mean, I've got like stacks of clothes just like piled on my bed, so I don't want to like go through everything. So I'm sure you know people aren't going to want to uh, stick around and see all that, but I'm just going to pull out a few things that are are really cute that I'm excited, hoping that it'll fit her. This is um. An SD size dress. It's really short on my SD doll, but I'm thinking it's going to be like almost perfect on her if I can get it over her butt. Just need to undo these lacing. Probably would be easier to put it over her head, but at this time I don't want to take her head off. So I'm just going to have to work these little strings here. Get it up over her butt. And, oh, actually the snap on the back of this is broken. I just realized I'm going to have to replace the snap. Oh my god. That's okay. It's got a tie. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to tie this here just as a quick look. She's going to have to, going to have to get her more shoes. But... Oh my god, this is the most adorable thing ever. So this is her in this cute little uh, dress that is an SD size dress. So um, what I'm thinking is that some SD dress uh, SD dresses might um, fit her if they're short like this. Um, so that's definitely a possibility. I can't remember which doll, which one of my dolls. I mean, I, I've put this dress on one of my slim dolls, SD dolls, and, uh, I think my EID, my Apple, Apple house. Um, but yay, so excited about that. I'll put that in the, uh, yes, it will work pile. Okay. Okay, so I have, um, this is a dress that I think um, maybe when I was doing a swap or something, somebody sent me this or one of the dolls that I purchased, they sent it. And it totally didn't even fit my doll. It was, like, really huge. Um, and I'm kind of glad I, like, kept a hold of it because I was going to just alter it for alter it down for one of my MSD dolls. But I'm kind of glad I didn't do anything with it because it actually fits. It actually fits pretty nicely on her. So she's got another cute little outfit here. I'm going to have to like go back and take photos of all of these stuff. It's crazy. Um, so that 
actually fits. Let me see. Oh, I'm, I will put a link to my um, link to my Facebook page where I'm going to post all the pictures because I'm going to take pictures of all the different like outfits that I'm I'm putting on her. Um, I'm going to put them up on the up on my on my page there so that um, people can see them if they don't want to look through this whole entire um, video that is going to be way way too long if I try on all of these clothes. But I just want to try on a few things just to show you. Um, these are a pair of shorts that I made for my uh, Dolphy Dream Dynamite, who has a super huge um, butt. And this is actually, and it actually fits, I think, the fits, fits my um, Eiffel House uh, EID. So these actually won't be too bad. Um, I'll have to take the waist in a little bit because it seems to be, or it seems to, um, hang down pretty low. Um, and probably take in, probably take in the, uh, leg holes because the leg holes are, are a little bit, a little bit wide here. But it's definitely a start of, um, a nice pattern that I already have for her. Um, so yeah, those little shorts would probably fit. Um, I do actually have a top here that might, look cute with this. And that will just slide on her real quick. Actually no, maybe I'll do this one. This is um this is a shirt too and I have no idea where I got this from. It might have been like a bulk lot of uh MSD clothes or something that I got. But um it's like a, a little blue shirt. Um not sure whether I'm gonna be able to get this on with her hands. Oh yes I am, yay So I think um, as far as like making clothes for this doll, I am definitely going to make some shorts like the ones that are on her right now. I just need to alter the pattern a little bit and um, then I'll be set to go to make those. And, oh, this is adorable. The sleeves are a little tight but not too bad. Um, but it is a really cute shirt. I was gonna, I was actually, uh, planning on probably getting rid of this because it was just too short of a length for my MSD dolls. But, um, it doesn't look so bad on her. It looks kinda cute. So there is that. I can get a little bit more color in here. Ah! Okay, so there she is. Her cute little outfit. And, um, what else? Oh, wig sizes. Uh, I think I might have mentioned in the last video, the box opening video. Um, 13, 14 is supposedly uh, too large, but I had a really hard time putting this one on, and this is a 1213. Um, but with like all wigs, it depends on the company. If it's a really stretchy wig cap, I'm sure um, a 1213 would fit. And um, a couple of people that have already have one of these dolls have said that they bought a uh, Monique wig on, that is a 1213, and it fit. It fit her really nicely. So. Um, 12, 13 would be the wig. Her eyes are supposedly 26 millimeters, I believe. Oh, too out of that. Okay, this is one of the tops that uh, came with her that um, I can't remember if I actually bought it or if they sent it as a free gift. Because I know I bought some a few things so that I can get the free shipping for her to come in. And we'll just slide this on here. This is a really cute shirt. It's got snaps in the back, which is nice and easy just to put on instead of having to take her head off. 
some people don't like to take head off, heads off and stuff like that. So if I do start making um, some clothes for her, or I'm sorry, when I start making some clothes for her, um, that will be the, an option as well as, you know, as well as to uh, whether or not you want it to be um, like a normal t-shirt without the, uh, without the opening in the back or um, if you, if you want snaps or anything in the back to get on easier so you don't have to take the head off. But that is the cute little shirt that is that they have on Dalmore's site. Okay. There is um this is an outfit that also fit on um a doll that uh was at Pet Catan's and um I think it's probably going to fit her nicely, except for I'll probably have to take her head off and put it on because it is only up to there, so I can't really put that on her on the video. Um, but I will take a picture of it once I do put it on her. But I think that will be a really cute little outfit. And the outfit for her to wear. Um, this is another one that uh, was on some kind of random doll that was at the thrift store. And uh, it might actually fit her and look cute. I'm not going to put it on right now. Um, this is a really cool outfit, but I don't think it's going to fit because the waist is probably too small. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on her because I really like this outfit. It's really cute. And that would be amazing if it fit. If it doesn't, no worries. One of my other dolls can wear it. All right. Um, okay, so I can't zip it up all the way, but it doesn't look like it's going to like um, fall off the front of her or anything like that. So I can definitely use this. Um, it's it's got little kitty cats on it. It's like Halloween fabric. So that's something I can definitely use. It's just not zipped up all the way. Um, if I put a little jacket on her or something like that, um, I could easily cover that up. But um, unfortunately, that is that. Here is another cute little dress. It's a little bit bigger than the other one, but um, I bought this off of uh, somebody off of um, Den of Angels, I believe. And it's black, and it's got little kitty cats on it as well. Uh, it looks like it might be a little bit thicker around the waist, but I'm not sure how much and whether or not it's going to fit her or not. So we shall see. Let me get her little hands in here. Hopefully they will fit without me having to take them off. Yay. Oh, it's really tight in the sleeve, so this might not work at all. Nope, I don't think this is going to work because it's too tight in, around the armholes of the sleeves. So um, I can look and see whether or not there's enough seam allowance to where I can open it up and uh, redo this. No, there's a very small seam line. I don't think I can get this other hand in here. There we go. I'm sad because this is really cute. I might have to alter it anyways to fit her. I might have to open it up and add some fabric or something to try and get it to fit. Yeah, I just I can't get it up over up over her forearm here because the, the armholes are too are too small. Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, yeah. So um, this would be completely adorable if I was able to open up maybe this armhole here and add a piece piece up there. Um, because other than that, it looks like it would actually close, but um, right now it's not going to fit. 
And this is like a little overskirt that goes on top of it. So this is potentially going to be a really cute outfit for her. I just am going to have to do some alterations on this. Because um, it doesn't fit any of my, any of my other dolls because it's too big for them. Because most of my MSD dolls are slim. Okay, um, so I was talking about shoes. I've got more clothes here, but I'm not going to try anyone. But talking about shoes. Um, these are the Dalmore shoes that I came with her, which I will put on with her set here in a second. These are these adorable panda shoes that I bought um, for my 50 centimeter Ibitsu doll that I'm now going to put on her. And they fit! Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> So these are little panda shoes. She's got little panda shoes now. I'm so excited. So that means that um, I know that uh, some of the other shoes that I have downstairs for for um, that used to be for my Abitsu 50 centimeter 50 centimeter Abitsu will probably fit her. So that's exciting! Yay! All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on her outfit that I got with her. Um. I don't think there was bloomers, but I've got a pair of bloomers here that go with something else. So I'm going to stick those, oh, I'll stick those on after I try this on. Um, this is actually two pieces. There's um, an underdress and an overdress. Um, but just for time purposes, I'm just going to put it on like this so that you don't have, waste a lot of time here trying to get her dressed. Let's see if I can get the hands in here without having to take her hands off. Yay! And hopefully this is elastic. And as I said, I'm going to put all these photos that I take of trying to her clothes on. I'm going to put some of them up on the um, up on my Facebook page, and I will put that link link here on uh, YouTube so people can find me there. I'll put both of my links because I have um, I have a business page and a, a doll page. Okay, so we got her dress all on, and it's so adorable. So there she is with her dress on. Um, I'm gonna put these little bloomers here. Um, I think these bloomers came with one of the doll outfits that I got from the uh, got from a thrift store. And I'm pretty sure they'll fit her. Right now she doesn't have any underwear on, so yay, they fit. So now she's got some now she's got some bloomers. Um actually I thought I thought they actually came with them, so maybe these actually are from the set. I don't know. Anyways <laughs> I'd have to go back and look at the video. Uh, there's these cute little socks that came with the outfit. Slide those on her feet. Um, I do have a couple of pair of uh, Estes uh, sized socks that fit well on her that I tried on before um, starting the video. But just for time purposes, I'm going to uh, get this little outfit on and so I don't take up too much time. I'm already at like 25 minutes. I apologize. Just to put this outfit on first. Okay. Hmm. 
is it working? I don't have my oh here it is. Um, what I'm going to do is, because um, a lot of people are curious of like American Girl clothing or anything like that that's on them. American Girl dolls are actually much thicker than these dolls, even though these are, you know, thicker than a, a normal ball jointed doll. The um, American Girl dolls are much thicker. I mean, there's like seriously like an inch or there's like two inch difference I think in the waist and in uh, bust measurement. And uh, they're taller as well. But uh, with some alterations, some of the clothing may work for them, for this doll. Um, I'm going to, uh, I actually have a couple of, of stuff that um, fits a uh, American Girl doll. And I'm going to um, alter it and see, see how that goes. Um, so for now, though... Um, Again, like I said, I haven't came up with a name for her, um, except for some of the names that I'm still that still are are on the list that I really like is um, Blossom or Winifred. But uh, here she is in her cute, cute little outfit from Dalmore. And again, this is a Dalmore Mokashura Doju, maybe the way you pronounce. I don't know. And um, I will end the video. Uh, so I am really apologize for the long video. Um, there wasn't too much information in here. But I'm going to try on some of these MSD uh, shirts. They're really stretchy, so I think they'll fit. Um, but I'm going to have to take her head off. And I don't want to do that in this video. Um, I have some like different wigs and stuff that I'm going to try on her. I'm going to put her blue wig on. And um, I have a short black wig, on, wig as well that I'm going to try on her. And I'll take some photos up. So be sure to look in my um, description of my video here for the link to my Facebook. And um, I'll have pictures up probably um, by the end of this weekend. I'm not sure when. Um, I actually have a show tomorrow to do. So I'm not going to be able to uh, get a lot of stuff, more stuff done today. But uh, thank you for watching. Again, apologize for the, uh, the lighting and uh, for the long video. But thanks and uh, take care. Bye.